Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have for you my latest haul from Vintage Chic Sense. This was a haunted Victorian theme as I suspected last month when I did my haul. She got very, very into the fall and Halloween scents and all the yummy fall goodness this time around. So I did place a decent size order. Everything is here with the exception of one thing which is a backup loaf of Sweeney's Barbershop that I ordered. But I figured you guys have listened to me drone on and on and on about Sweeney's for three years. So I probably didn't need to go over that one again. So I decided to just go ahead and film the haul as a complete haul even though I do have one thing still coming. So this restock was on Tuesday at... 8 a.m. my time and I got in pretty quickly I was able to go ahead and go through and clear the cash and clear the cookies on my phone the night before because I knew that I was going to be ordering from my phone because of my work schedule and I was able to get in pretty much right away I didn't have a hard and fast wish list, except I knew there were there were a couple things that I really wanted, and then a couple other things that I thought, oh, well, if I can get a hold of them, I'll go ahead and try them. And so I did really well. I ended up getting everything that I wanted and more, which is usually the case with Vintage Chic Scents. So I'm just going to go over with you guys what I have here, and hopefully I can remember scent notes, or at least most scent notes for everything. So first I'll start with the samples. This is two orders, by the way. So I got two samples. This first one here is To Catch a Thief, which I believe is peppermint, vanilla bean Noel, and cotton candy. It is a super popular one that she has, especially for winter time when everybody's into all the mint scents. I am more of a fan of Central Park Snow Globe than to catch a thief but to catch a thief is a good one as well so i'm glad to have that and i'll definitely be melting it so that was to catch a thief when she pours it it's usually a pretty hot commodity so it's a super popular one and then midway treats was my other sample and i won't go into this one because you guys already if you watch my videos you already know about this one but saltwater ta taffy Cotton Candy Frosting and Marshmallow Fluff. And then I will get into what I ordered. So, I ordered a couple of four packs this time around. I usually don't get four packs if you guys have noticed. I usually buy bags or buy my stuff in bulk because I tend to, more, than, more often than not, I tend to buy favorites from her rather than really trying a whole bunch of new scents. I'll pick like one or two things out of the new scent list that I really want to try or I'll get a sampler. It just kind of depends, but for the most part I usually don't get four packs. Well, I did get two four packs this time. So the Clairvoyant is a new scent. This one is, it's a ginger ale scent, but it's got acai, gosh, I can't remember the other notes. But I know it has acai in it, and dang it. Let me just go look that up, because it's going to bother me. It's acai pomegranate cranberry ginger ale. So this smells really good. I mean, I knew that it would. It's more of a fall and winter ginger ale scent. You know, it doesn't have the strawberry. It doesn't have lemon. Um, it doesn't have green apple or any of those like bright summery fruits or things that I associate with spring and summer. It's got pomegranate. It's got cranberry. Things that I associate more with fall. This is like a deeper berry ginger ale scent. So I do love this. And I love, Kirby's ginger ale scents have been killing it. I absolutely love them. The other four pack that I bought is Dracula, and I have purchased this one before. This one is um, Pecan, 
This one is super sweet. This one is like crazy, crazy sweet. This one is like pecan and caramel and marshmallow. I love this one and it throws like a dream in my house. And I was fresh out of it, so I knew I had to try to get a four pack of this. It's like pecan caramel swirl with marshmallow. It's so good. It's like one of Kirby's sweetest scents in my opinion. Very, very, very sweet, but it's so good. It's so good. And then I got a bag of Chantilly Shatter in one of the new scents, which is Witch's Chair. This is a Vermont honey apple scent blended with Victoria's Secret Vanilla Lace. So I knew when I read the notes that it was going to be Vanilla Lace blended with apple that I was going to love it, and I do. It's super good. It's very, it's like perfumey, but fruity. I could melt this year round. And her Chantilly Shatter is just so pretty. So this is like her brittle. So I think what they do, and I think I've said this before, I think she they pour it in like big, huge baking trays and then just kind of break it because they're, you know, you'll get like all different sized pieces in a bag. And the idea is that you can melt as much or as little as you want. But this scent is really good. And I'm really glad that I got it. I love Vanilla Lace. Absolutely love it. I hate that Victoria's Secret discontinued it. And that, I mean, I know they've got it like right now where it's mixed with other things in the store, but like just the Vanilla Lace, it's discontinued as far as I know. And I love that scent. It's one of the few things that I actually went into Victoria's Secret to get. And so I do love that there is a wax dupe of it. And Kirby's is really good. And I love it blended with the Vermont Honey Apple. It's super good. And then I got a loaf. I got the loaf of Trick or Treat. Now this is a secret fall blend that was in her open house last fall. So it was the open house exclusive. I think she poured it one time after that maybe, and then not again until she poured it in this loaf. Now trick or treat isn't even on the scent list. It's that much of a secret blend. So I, smell cider in this. I definitely smell cider lane along with some other things. Trick or treat reminds me very, very much of the Warrens. It's a little bit sweeter than the Warrens, but the Warrens is my favorite fall scent from Kirby. So you can't really go wrong with trick or treat if you're me. This is what it looks like. And this is another triple layered loaf like I had last, last month. I had the like watermelon layered loaf. This is a candy corn layered loaf. But I was really glad to get more of this because it is a very good fall scent. Sorry. But I definitely smell cider in there. Like last year when I got it, I wasn't 100% sure what I smelled, but I knew I liked it. But I definitely smell cider in there. And it does remind me a lot of the Warrens. So, glad to have that. And then the Blossom Bars that I got are the Haunted New Orleans Duo Blossom Bars. And I had actually kind of asked Kirby to make them. I had asked for a blend of Fiona the Supreme Witch and Axe Man of New Orleans. She ended up pouring Axe Man of New Orleans, but the other one that she poured was Delphine's Macabre Mansion. So she did pour my Haunted New Orleans duo that I wanted, so thank you, Kirby. And I did end up ordering it. I didn't get Fiona. I was torn between, there was a loaf that she had with 
Fiona the Supreme Witch and the Black Cat. I was torn between that loaf and the Trick or Treat loaf, but ultimately I went with the Trick or Treat loaf and lost out on the Fiona loaf, but that's okay. So I got my Axe Man, and Delphine's is one of my favorites too. It's in my top five VCS fall scents. So, and, and I think I was down to like one leaf of it. So I ain't even mad. So Axe Man of New Orleans is a pumpkin milkshake and whipped cream scent. So it is one of those classic, sweet, like pumpkin bakery scents. I mean, that's exactly what it is. And I'm not somebody that loves all the pumpkin things. I'm more of a woodsy person or a cider person. But it is nice to have some pumpkin around. And this is one of my favorite of the, like, pumpkin scents. So I'm glad to have that. And then Delphine's is beignets, powdered sugar, and... Caramel, I think. And I love this one. And this is another one that throws like a beast in my house. This, this is a lot of wax. Like legitimately, these blossom bars. This is a lot of wax. Because I've cut these before on camera, but you can get like four or five melts out of each one of these. So this is this is definitely a lot of wax, but with a scent like Delphine's, I don't mind it. I don't mind having it in bulk because it is one that I have faithfully melted every single fall. And that's actually it. Super short uh, VCS haul this time. My VCS hauls are usually like 30 minutes long, but this one is not even close to that. And I think it was just because usually I talk about the restock and the restock went so smoothly this time. There just really wasn't anything to comment on regarding that. And then I didn't have a whole lot of sense here. So, um, but I do love everything and I'm really glad that Kirby is pouring all the fall stuff and yeah, I'm probably going to abstain next month just because I've been evaluating like the ridiculous amount of VCS I have in my collection. I have a lot of wax, but I have a ridiculous amount of VCS more than any other vendor. So I'm probably going to abstain. Um, next month I may get a couple of things during October because that's when she's doing like the customer creation stuff. And there are a couple of those scents that sounded really good. But after that, I'm probably going to try to get my hands on some Christmassy type scents. So yeah, that is, that is it for this haul and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.